All right, and welcome everybody to this Make Code for Microbit show. And this is the beta on Vel show. We're showing all the new features coming in Make Code in the summer of 2020. So in a few weeks, hopefully, these will become live and we'll be able to take a look at them. So here we are in the beta of the editor. You can see it's a beta because uh, here there's a little beta tag here. So that's the beta editor. And you can try it out today. It's in the browser. And if you see this video in the future, it's probably going to be shipped already. So today we're going to be talking about um, localization and something new called in-context translation. So if you're not, uh, if you're uh, not a native English speaker, uh, and you're trying to teach to kids who don't read English, that's a problem. That's why we try to translate uh, all the, the make code blocks and editor. And this is a community translation. That means we get a lot of help from, we have 2000 uh, translators now that are helping us keeping the editor translated. All right, so in make code, when you wanna change a language, we've added a gear wheel here and you can go and select your language. If your browser language is set, we'll ultimately pick pick that up uh, and you're going to click on language. So in the past, it's I'm going to take French. Um, you know, you would do that and then make code remembers and then you go into make code and now it's looking like it's French. <clears throat> Another thing looks translated. Uh, that's so that's all good. I guess that's an issue that French is fairly well translated. I'm going to find I'm going to need to find another language. Uh, let me see if I can find. Yeah, it's all it's all translated, and you can see all the blocks should be all translated. <clears throat> well, let's see. Maybe we added something in music. Oh yeah, play a melody is not translated. Uh, so that's very unfortunate, and I would like to uh, change that. So if we go back to the language tab, and you can do it from here too, or if you go back home and do it from here. And you select this button at the bottom. So I'm gonna go back to English uh, for now so that uh, people understand it. So if you go into your editor in English or any language you're in, uh, you have this gear wheel to change the language. Scroll down to the bottom right or left and you'll see a new button, translate the editor. And this button will start the in-context translation. So the way in context translation works is that uh, you're going to sign in with your crowd in credentials. So if you haven't done so, go to makecode.microbate.org slash translate and go through uh, registering as a translator for the language you want. Um, so crowd in is a crowdsourced translation platform. So you're going to translate strings and submit translation and eventually uh, they'll get into the system. All right, so I'm going to sign in with French here and I'm using my my github account all right so now when you come back uh, it's very subtle but if you look here you'll see there's a little green line here and when you hover over thing there's there's a little icon there and that's basically crowding going in and instrumenting the instrumenting the the editor so that you can translate every single string that is in the editor so if you see something so we were actually looking at display melody block uh, and you know sometimes uh, sometimes it garbles things so we we're not able to patch it but um, you know if I drag this blog out and it seems that it seems that it's uh, it's really unhappy with me dragging things out when we're in translation mode. So it seems that we're graded blockly and this mode got, got a bit disappointed. All right, so I'm gonna get out of this. Uh, to get out of translation mode, um, you're just gonna have to just go back to the editor by, by clearing the, the URL and then you're back to safety. I'm gonna prepare my code here. It seems that we can drag blocks right now and I'll have to figure out what's going on. All right, uh, so that's the block I wanna translate because if I go to uh, French, Francais, it, uh, it is not in French. Uh, so 
that's not cool. Let's translate that. Um, we're going to go and go back to the language and say translate. All right. And it seems that it is the translation is in Crowdin, but so this this happens when um, Crowdin has a translation, but it hasn't percolated to a cloud. So that kind of defeats my demo now, because I kind of translate it. But uh, regardless, what if you want to fix a translation on a block, uh, when you right click on the block, you'll see there's a new uh, item here. Uh, which will be translate this block, which in this case is uh, traduire ce bloc. And you want to click on the little icon there in the top left. And when you do that, you basically have the crowd in UI in front of you. And yes, I did translate this button, but you're in the typical crowd in experience here within make code. So you can make the change and then close that. So anytime you see a little uh, notch here, um, you would be able to go and translate things. This, this is fairly well translated, so we don't have any string that are missing things, but you can see that if I wanted to change the zoom, uh, I can click here and I can get into that. Same for most of the money items. So this is in context translation and it will allow you to uh, oh, you can right click here. So perfect. So you can right click uh, this one and you can do the translation and try that. And again, you're still in crowd in. So your translation will have to be validated uh, and then integrate into your cloud, which you can see here, there's a delay between uh, strings being in crowd in. Actually, it's figure out what's going on and not in crowd in. So when you're, when you're localizing a block, you can see that this is the string. All right, so localizing a block is a bit trickier. So you right click and you say tra traduce a block, but you that translate the button, which you don't want. You want to click the button and then you'll see you're in special dialog to translate the block. So this is the format to translate the block. This is the string you need to translate. And what you need to do is click here on that corner and then you're translating precisely that block. Now, what you see here, this is interesting. It has been translated, but it has not been validated. So I think uh, Jouer la Melodie à Tempo is okay. It's like a good translation. I'm gonna validate it. Uh, proofreaders can do that. Uh, regular translators can submit or vote for translations. So this is the reason why, I'll save that. Uh, oh, play a melody from the melody editor, right? So if we, we hover, all right. So the, the blocks, the, the UI elements will show you a different color when they are translated, but not validated. But in this case, the blocks, it's a bit trickier to integrate that system into, into Blockly. So that's why we have, um, we have this special dialogue. So whenever you want to translate a block, Let's see if we have another block. I think we have a volume. Let's see if that one is is okay too. Yeah, it's blue. That means it's been, and you can see that. See how the color is bluish uh, and not greenish. So green means it's been translated, validated. Red means no translation available. Blue, there is a translation, but it has not been approved. So I'm gonna go and approve this translation. Thank you, Pierre-Yves, for the work. Really appreciate it. Uh, it's been sitting there for a month, so better make sure that it's good. So it is approved, uh, which means that within 24 hours, uh, this block will now be uh, translated in French in the live in the in the beta version. And again, if you want to leave, just close this tab or. Uh, just fix, uh, just remove the translate equals one. And hopefully this is gonna be a much easier way for uh, for people to go and translate the editor, right? So anytime you see something 
that is not in your language and your translator with make code, go ahead and go into context mode and go in and figure that out. I'm not seeing anything here, so it's, it's really good. Uh, and yes, and that concludes this session of make code. Uh, this deep dive on the in-context translations. As usual, if you have questions, drop them either here in the chat or um, send us a message uh, on our forum, forum.makecode.org, where we can uh, help you. But hopefully uh, this will help the, the so important task of our translators who are translating all the blocks and all the UI uh, so that the kids can, uh, can use the software. That's it for today and see you later in the day.